Hello everyone, I'm Matthew Austin and Summer Hex and welcome back to another episode of the FN22 Beat Save Rampaging Rams with Derby County. Now, if you have been enjoying this series and you want to support the channel, you can like the video and share it with your friends and family. And anyone in between, either on Facebook, on Twitter, on just by word of mouth or by sharing it by email or anything like that stuff. Just try it and it'll help grow the channel. If you are one of those new people who are new to the channel, you can always subscribe and hit the bell for mobile notifications and push notifications and all that good stuff. I also in the description below have links to Twitch where I'm trying to stream every day. I'm currently waiting until the beta starts, which uh, is today, I think. I don't know. It's the 9th. Well, it's the 8th today, but... Uh, I think it starts uh, on the 9th, uh, it's meant to come out on the 9th, so yeah, uh, that's how we will be doing everything, As I, my, I don't know why, it just tapped out to a different thing, like. um, okay, uh, yeah, you can check all my socials, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, um, and then I have a second channel where I'm going to start uploading hopefully soon. Anyway, we are currently fourth. We're currently fourth. Uh, and I'm surprised we are. Because after the game against uh, Blackpool, which was of course a 1 1 draw, um, we, we were lucky to get a draw there because we were 94th minute equaliser. We then played Bromley, 1-5-1, that was to be expected, but then we played Middlesbrough, 0-0. I was like, oh god, this isn't going to go well, is it? Thankfully, we did play Ipswich away from home on 1-2-0, Luke Offord and George Stavell getting goals. We also then played in the EF Cup second round against Hull, and unfortunately, Drew lost on penalties. We drew and then lost on penalties. Unfortunate, um, but at least we're out of that cup now. We can focus on league. Um, we then went on a bit of bad run of form. Uh, we played Reading, drew 1 1. We should have won that. We played Sheffield United, we drew 1 1, and we'll take that even if we uh, do get, uh, uh, we weren't in the game. We were lucky to get the penalty, that sort of stuff. And we did play Brighton at the end, and yeah, uh, Dan Lundaloo it is an idiot. <laughs> Getting himself sent off um, in the 24th minute. That yeah, that caused us to lose the game. We then, however, got back in a run of form. I was really worried that we would be really low down in the league now. That this won't be a promotion playoff or what promotion push for this season. Instead of losing like I expected this to against Crystal Palace, we actually won 2 1. We then ended up winning 2 1 against QPR, 2 1 against Rotherham, and even 2 1 against Preston, where we scored late on twice. Uh, even though it was 0 0 to be fair, and for ages, then we scored 1 1, 1 0 up. We then conceded, and I was like, okay, this is a 1 1 draw. But then in the 92nd minute, Max Berg got a goal. It got us all the way to fourth in the league. So, yeah, we're currently fourth. Uh, a few points behind top three. Uh, we're a point ahead of fifth, Brighton. And a bit ahead of Portsmouth in seventh. So, we we still might in the promotion posh. And so, today, we've got games against Stoke, who are currently second. And Peterborough, at the time of picking this, we're currently fifth, but I've dropped down a bit recently. Um, they're twelfth. In terms of transfers, because there has been some, I'm pretty sure there has at least. So let's see. I, I haven't been on the save for a few days now, um, so I'm kind of having to figure out what happened. So let's see. Twelfth of the eighth. Okay. So let's look at the people that came in. So we bought this guy in, Ken Semmer. This was direct football. 
He is a Swedish international, uh, coming in from Watford, who played quite a lot of times in the Premier League last season. He's a squad player as like left winger, left back, left wing back, that sort of thing. We also brought in Morgan Thomas Saddle. This was head of youth development, who has immediately been loaned out to Kevin Drudes. Um, we signed him from Kevin Drudes. I think it's Kevin Drudes. I'm not sure. We also brought in Daniel Quick, who uh, isn't that quick, <laughs> I don't think. Uh, he's just a youngster. He might not be any good, but we'll give him a chance. And then we brought in this guy, Robbie Dickey. Um, he is direct football again, centre back. I didn't know. I didn't want a centre back, but I thought I may as well let him. Um, so yeah, he's coming uh, from 1.4 million, uh, rising to 1.7 from QPR. He's hardly played recently for QPR, but his his current ability is a lot better than he spent uh, than his playtime. So. Hopefully he'll be decent. Uh, in terms of sales, so what was it, 12th or the 8th? So in terms of sales, we loaned out George Manning uh, to Scarborough. Malcolm Abeloe went to Wraith. Uh, First ever sale has also gone on loan to Port Vale. Jonathan Bellingi has also gone on loan to Portsmouth. We tried to sell him. I think there is a option for future for 925. I tried to get mandatory, but they declined it, so I just had to accept the optional. Um, so he could be leaving at the end of the season, and I don't mind if he does really. Um, we also loaned out Morgan Thomas Sadler. Desire Linton's also gone out loan, and Brandon Bryant Vaugh has gone out loan to Kidderminster. And then Luke Offord has been sold. Yeah. Uh, I didn't want to sell it. Um, oh, that's why we sold. Oh yeah, I'm stupid. Um, Luke offered. We got an offer for seven million. Well, it wasn't even seven million. It was like one million. And I was like, no, I would want seven million at the very least. So we upped it to seven million. Uh, all up front, I think, or like up front and then some. Uh, in, over the months, coming months, and Brentford accepted it. So he, I wanted to decline it, but he said he would get very upset and he would be unsettled if I didn't accept it. And I don't like unsettled players because I never play them. Personally, that's how I do because they're never any good when they're unhappy. No matter who, how good they are, they're always rubbish. So I thought. No matter how good he is, if he's unsettled, he won't get playing time because he'll be rubbish and then he'll just tranche the value will go down. So we sold him for 7 million. I think that's a good deal. Um, he's gone to Brentford in the Premier League as a squad player. We signed him for 2.1 million, which even then was over the high, on the high side. Um, he played one decent season with us. Started off really well in the second season. And then, of course, Brentford have come in with 7 million. So we sold him. And of course, because of that, we signed. I had signed another repla a replacement centre back, and that was Rob Dickey, who um, came in for 1.5 million from QPR at last se uh, in real life last season. The first season he did good. Second season he started well, but then Southampton got him on loan, and he hardly played there. And then he's played one game since coming back to QPR. Um, so yeah, we've signed him mostly because he's played a bit of time in the Premier League. I thought I thought that'd be good. He's also been decent all of the, all of his seasons. He has been not with us yet, but hopefully he'll be good. So that's the signings. So I think we'll, I don't know if we'll have time for two games today. I believe just one. Um, let's just see. Yeah, probably just one, depending on how long this goes. Um, but the, go uh, the team for this game is Olier, Ozella, Olazabal, Tyler Moore, um, Fagan Walker, Matt Clark all on the centre backs. Um, Jed Wallace plays at right wing back where he he's been amazing. Ken Samo plays at left wing back. Louis Sibley, Max Bird at the centre back, centre mid, centre mids. <laughs> Excuse me. Malik Wilkes is the right winger. Uh, Dan Unlu Unlundulu 
He's a left winger, and Rodrigo Muniz is a striker. That leaves Jack Stratton, Rob Dickey, George Savile, Lee Buchanan, Christian Balek, and Jason Knight, and Yuan Wiza as the subs. So let's get straight into the game. I nearly clicked instant result. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I'm used to it on my other save. My personal save, why I do like using instant result from time to time, just to get through the seasons a bit quicker. Uh, but I don't do it on my personal saves unless I'm forced to, because of like time, time problems. Uh, okay, we're on a good run of form. Let's go like that. Let's go. I have faith. I have faith. I have faith. Everyone is happy, apart from Louis Sibley. Let's get into the game against Stoke. Um, Stoke, of course, really doing really well in the league. They're top um, currently. We've got a highlight here with Jed Wallace crossing it in, and it's eventually a goal for Dan Lundley. Uh, Lundley. I do not know how to pronounce his name. I've struggled so much with his name. I shouldn't have let the director of football sign him really. But yeah, um, good save then by Davies, and then Lundley. Does get the rebound and scores. One nil up. Twelfth minute. Twelve minutes gone. Good start. A really, really good start. Still takes us keeping us in fourth, but we're now only a point away from second and third, which are uh, okay. We're now a point away from top three, so that's even better. So we can get if we can win it this game, we'll be really happy. Might not happen, but without we playing, we may be so. I'll just say what the assistant manager, Lee Mussini, wants to say. Um, over the season, uh, at the end of the season, Lee Mussini's contract runs up, ran up, and he wanted to renew it, but he was asking for so much money I couldn't offer it him. Yeah, he was on like eight, and I could only offer him like seven, as Malik Wokes scores a goal, but yeah. Liam Senior, we couldn't offer uh, a new deal, um, but we kept him on uh, like a non contract, uh, expired contract. So if he wants to leave, he'll eventually leave. Hopefully, he doesn't. Uh, as Malik Wilkes did it really well to get the goal there from such close range, but yeah. 2 0 up. Possible offside? Of course not. I don't know why they're even showing it. That was nowhere near offside. As 60th minute, I might make a sub. Malik Wilkes might come off, or Dan Unlundaloo might come off. Uh, okay. Okay. Malik Wilkes can come off. I'll put uh, Jack Stratton on. We'll also take Rodrigo Munez and we we'll put Stratton there. And Jason Knight can play on the right wing. Uh, see how he can do there. He doesn't play out of the, on the wing that much, but he's good back up there. So we've got to be careful we don't concede the goal and give them the push to get an equaliser. Stoke are playing some lovely stuff right now. We have to be careful. We've got a three on the right wing. They cross it in, and the highlight just ends. <laughs> what? What was that even for? Okay, I think I'll make the last sub now. I will take, actually I can't take Jed Wallace off. I will take Ken Sam off, I'll put George Savile there, I think. See how he can do at left wing back. Because he can play there. As the 80th minute, 10 minutes left, still 2 nil up. But Stoke have a highlight here. Thankfully Twine. Hits it very far away from the goal. We've got another heart. Simply crosses it in. Headed away. Wallace does pick it up. Gives it to Clark. Crosses it in. A bit of a bad cross but Knight gets it. And that's with Sibley. Two more. Just passing it quite well. We could give it on the left wing instead. Bird has shot. And it was eventually saved by the goalkeeper. I thought it just hit the post, but no, it was a save by the goalkeeper. And the corner comes to nothing. I think the highlight might come to nothing as well. Probably. 
Yeah, it does. Okay. A win! Against, at the time, second place or first place or whatever it was. What a result that is. Well done, lads. And it really is a good result. Really is. Um, it keeps us in fourth, but we're still we're only a point behind first, second and third now. Um, if we win the next few games and Sheffield United, Stoke and Cardiff all lose, we could be top. And that is amazing to think of. I uh, will skip ahead now and we think we will come back for the second game. So see you in a bit for that. Right, we are back for the game against Peterborough. And the team going into this game is the same side basically. We've got Alice Abel in goal, uh, Taylor Moore, Fagan Walker, Matt Clark in centre backs. Jed was still at right wing back. We've got Lee Cannon playing at left wing back this time. I want to give him a bit more first team football, but uh, we've got so many good players at the left wing back. Because uh, we've kind of strengthened there because of the Dylan Williams sale. Um, so he's always been back up since the start of the season. Start of the save, uh, actually. Uh, we've got Lewis Sibley and Max Bird in the centre back. In centre mid, I mean. I didn't mean to click Max Bird there. Uh, we've also got Malik Wilkes at right winger. And then Unlundaloo as left winger. And we've got Joran Wissa as the striker. That leaves Cornell McDonald, Rob Dickey, Kislin Bailick, Rodrigo Munoz, Jason Knight, George Savile, and Jack Stratton as the subs. As I just have to burp again because I've just ate my food. I'm sorry about that. If you disgust you, I am sorry. Excuse me. Anyway, the game against Peterborough. We need to win this game if we want to get even better than we are. Uh, say that. Everyone's happy, I don't have to say. Like any extra words, I don't think. Let's just skip straight ahead into the game. I will immediately do some encouragement. Everyone is fired up, which is good to see. Uh, I don't want that. I want the beautiful formation. We've got a highlight here with Louis Sibley. Crosses it in, headed away by Valerie. Bird will pick it up and gives it to Clark. Crosses it in, and it's nearly a goal by Malik Wilkes. Eventually headed away by Fagan Walcott. Back into the game, but it's went to clear by Peter Burr. That was a good chance to score. A very good chance. Probably should have scored. I will do a bit more encouragement. Everyone is motivated again. We've got a highlight here with Buchanan. Gives it to Nundalo. Back to Buchanan. Passes it to Bird who shoots and it's just wide. I think if it had been on target, Ripley might not have saved it. As now we've got to defend here. Which we don't. And Ryan Longman scored for Peterborough. That is us 1-0 down in the 33rd minute. Against the run of play, it really is. I'm going to berate the team. And I'm hoping we can get a goal before half-time. Which we don't, I don't think. No, we don't. Thrash arms have been terrible so far. Sort it out. We really have been. Come on, Derby. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I wanted to do demand more. Lundaloo is a bit tired, so we will take him off for Jack Stratton. Jed Wallace isn't having a good game. I will take him off for Corner McDonald. His first game for the club. Hopefully he can do good. Ah, uh, come on, Derby. I will go attacking now. I will do beret. And they've got a highlight. We have to be careful here. Come on, Darby, you're better than this. As we'll probably concede here and lose two now. Or more. As Longman just managed to get past everyone. That was nearly an own call by Corner McDonald. <laughs> All those Abel had to be on his feet then. I uh, had to be really off quick on his feet then to even save that. Could easily have been an own goal. Very lucky to not have been. We'll play from the back and hopefully get a goal as with Jack's running lucidly. Wilkes is free, Wilkes saved, shot is saved. And that easily could have been two. Uh, a second a first goal for us to make it 1-1. One, one. 
as that is a foul apparently because the Vissa handles the ball. I will make the last sub. Uh, Rodrigo Muniz can come on. He's not been of good form lately. We've actually been struggling to score uh, lately. Um, Derby have. Um, well, we haven't got many goal scorers on. Many goals. It's mostly been shared between. We haven't got that hour of goal scorers. Lou Sibley. What a goal that is. Just when we needed it, Louis Sibley comes in and gets the goal. And showing why I should play him more than Jason Knight. He's not in his good form. What a goal by Louis Sibley. Like, brilliant, brilliant. I can see that being goal of the season. I will make the sub though. I'll still make it. Hopefully I will do encouragement. Everyone will be motivated and hopefully we can get that goal. Come on, Derby. Come on. Okay, don't concede. If we concede, I'll be really angry. I'll probably throw the water ball. Okay, it's cleared by Stratton, I think. But no one's in the bot. No one's attacking. Only Wilkes is really chasing. It's good to see Wilkes do that, but everyone else is not very good. As Fing Walker, I think make a great block then. Stop it going in. This game is not good as well as the Hall game. I thought we'd lose the Hall and win the Peterborough. It's been the opposite. <laughs> uh, it's still four points so far, I'll take it. It does look like it is going to be four points in, the first, in these two games. Unless we can push on in the last few seconds. Come on, Derby. Come on. Okay. Okay, block. You whistles. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, I'm going to thrash the arms. I'm not happy with it. Uh, everyone is motivated, thankfully. Because we should have done better against Peterborough. Um, I'm not happy with that. Uh, we're still on the same points as Stoke, who seem to have lost the game against QPR. But unfortunately, uh, Cardiff and Sheffield United... I've both gotten points, um, so we're now three points behind second, four points behind first. So we've got to win a bit more if we want to do any good. Um, but yeah, that is this episode. Next episode, um, when will we come back? I do not know. I want to finish the seas by Friday, um, so we can start with um, Champions of Bust going at Zabza, which is the main save, and I'm thinking of also doing a journeyman save alongside it, not Zero to Hero, but a direct to football uh, journeyman, where we are aim the aim is to start lowest of low, work our way up and get promote and get the Champions League, and then that'll be the end of the series. That same with that, um, and that also started on Monday along with this depending if we get don't get into the playoffs so yeah uh, next episode I do not know it'll be round about here uh, round about December to January probably December time um, and then the last episode well, of course will be Forest Portsmouth we'll probably have a game here as well it all depends anyway I've been Matthew or something some hacks. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share it with your friends and family and anyone in between. It does help the channel out. We're close to 80 subs now. I'm just overjoyed that I'm getting so many subs lately. It's really making my day. So if you are one of those people who isn't already subscribed, you can subscribe, hit the bell for push notifications, and hopefully enjoy really good content. You can also check out all my other socials, including my Twitch, where I try and stream every week every day every week or something like that weekdays uh, depending on what I want to do and if I feel up to it because I'm still getting very nervous streaming um, probably not streaming on a while until because we were doing a director uh, a director of football journal but I thought I may as well do it on YouTube because I was really enjoying it I thought it'd be better to do it on YouTube so we'll what the stream on Twitch will be the Russian powerhouse where 
we st- we'll start with max qualifications, max for the app uh, through the in-game editor. Join a random club in Russia who have sacked their manager. Join them, try and get them to a Champions League win, and then we'll leave and join another club uh, in Russia and we'll try and get them to be the best in the whole wide world with their old dynamic youth potential, depending on the quality of league. Uh, it's a really long project, and hopefully, it will go well. Wow. So, yeah, I've been Matthew Utterson and some Hex. See you all next time. Hex signing out. Bye, everybody. Thank you.